a couple of minutes, I wanted to share with you a small reflection from one of the very beautiful passages of Surah Al-Isra, Surah Al-Isra being Surah number 17 of the Quran. So Allah says, أَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ لِدُلُوكِ الشَّمْسِ إِلَىٰ غَسَقِ اللَّيْلِ وَقُرْآنَ الْفَجْرِ إِنَّا قُرْآنَ الْفَجْرِ كَانَ مَشْهُودًا Establish the salah, أَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ لِدُلُوكِ الشَّمْسِ إِلَىٰ غَسَقِ اللَّيْلِ This Lam, Lam Al-Ghaya, it actually means from the time the start, the sun starts getting loose and it starts sinking, meaning around Maghrib time, you know, make sure you make the Maghrib salat exactly on time, إِلَىٰ غَسَقِ اللَّيْلِ All the way at the end towards, you know, when the sun is completely gone and it's the depth of the night. وَقُرْآنَ الْفَجْرِ He didn't call it Salat al-Fajr, like establish the prayer at Maghrib, establish the prayer at Isha, when it's really dark at night. But when it came to Fajr, he didn't even call it Salat al-Fajr, he says وَقُرْآنَ الْفَجْرِ The Qur'an of Fajr. One of the benefits of that is of course that we should recite extra Qur'an at Fajr. But there's something special about me as a person, me as a Muslim, developing a relationship with the Qur'an, especially at Fajr. And so the advice I give myself, and the advice I'm sharing with all of you, is that if you can make Fajr an institution in your life, set time aside for making good Fajr Salat. Young men that are listening to this, go make Salat at the Masjid. And the days that you do and you sit there and you recite Qur'an a little bit, if you can de dedicate that time and make that a time in your life, then you will notice the, the spiritual benefits and the worldly benefits of doing that immediately. Inna Qur'an al-Fajri kana mashhuda. Allah says that the Qur'an of Fajr in the same ayah, no doubt about it, it is witnessed. It's such a beautiful thing to say. Because the word mashhud means that which is witnessed. So the Fajr of Qur'an, the recitation of Qur'an, the prayer that you recited, or that you attended, is witnessed. By, the question is witnessed by who? You know, that's an hour of the day when most people are asleep. So even if somebody's walking to the prayer, driving to the prayer, nobody sees them. But Allah says that's the time that is mashhud. Usually things that are mashhud, things that are witnessed, are the middle of the day. Popular times, popular places. But the masjid is not a popular place at Fajr time. Not for most of us. The, the salat is not a popular time for most of us. It's not when you see a lot of people around you. But Allah says, no doubt about it, it is witnessed. The question is then witnessed by who? Not by other people that are sleeping, not by the people of ghafla, the people of heedlessness, the people of sleep, but rather by the angels that are recording our deeds. Rather by Allah Azza wa Himself, who's making, making note of these slaves that are coming and you know, leaving their sleep for Himself and His Word. So this is a, it's a very powerful thing. And so tied to this, art, you know, this, this advice for myself again, for all of you, is if we can make a really good habit of going to sleep early. It's easy to say and it's so hard to do, I know, I know. We, can, we always have things to do and they pile up and we start getting around to them in the evening. Of course, shaitan gets a little extra active in the evening too. So our distractions come and you know, you're sitting there watching videos, hopefully not this one at two in the morning, you know. And you're, you're doing all of this late, late at night and then your fajr is basically, you know, it's kind of just getting it out of the way. You're half asleep and you pray a couple of rakahs, you don't even know what you prayed. You know, your wudu was when you were half asleep, your prayer was when you were half asleep, and you go about your day. You know, if, if you wake up, if you're among those who wake up. So if we can make a real habit in our lives of going to sleep early, and as a result, waking up early, and really having the Qur'an of Fajr being given its right, Qur'an al-Fajr, is one of the few idafas. I don't know of any other idafa in the Qur'an, except Qur'an, its recital. Uh, that the, the word Qur'an is associated with something else directly like this, with, with this kind of construction except with Fajr. So I pray that I'm able to take advantage of that and all of you are. And I can guarantee you, I know I've experienced this personally in my life and I can guarantee you, you'll experience this for yourselves. Once you make a habit out of this or you try to implement it even a little bit, you will start seeing its benefits immediately. You know, if not almost immediately, you're gonna start seeing your day is different, your mood is different, what you can accomplish is different, the barakah in your time is different. So I pray that Allah makes us a people of Qur'an and the people that are really able to take advantages of, of the times that Allah offers His special assistance to us and His special blessings to us.